Amidst the Berkeley bustle on Shattuck Street, James Richard Armstrong sits. He writes, reflects. If we had that much power in Washington, we'd have jobs. Reaches out to passerby. Who are you? <laughs> well, come on, let's be somebody together. But soon, it's possible he'll have to change his posture. Berkeley Mayor Tom Bates wants people like James to hop to their feet and quit sitting on city sidewalks. You would just have people have some respect for the community and to, to rec recognize that, you know, sitting is not something we want to see happen. The mayor and his supporters say writing sitting violations is a way to push homeless people to get help. And they say, let's make a deal. We agree with you. We will waive those citations if you'll go into services. As you might imagine, sitters like James don't quite see it that way. We're not hurting anything. People are able to walk through freely. Um, and if people are harassing people, then, then that's harassment. Then you, you call a cop. James is convinced this is a grand conspiracy of out-of-control business owners who don't like homeless people. Indeed, at businesses such as Sam's Deli on Telegraph Avenue. Supervisor Dino Pereira deals with panhandlers both seated and standing every week. He likes the idea of the sit ban. He fears customers are fearful of walking the gauntlet of panhandlers into his store. Well, I'm for it because, you know, I mean, I don't like to get out of my car, walk to my car and have people, you know, ask me for change or ask me for this or ask me for that. I think people would feel safer when they come to Berkeley if people weren't necessarily sitting on the sidewalk. Ah, but there's the rub. Eliminating sitting doesn't eliminate panhandling. So oh, if they if they create the rule, where are you going to go? Right here, standing. I'm not going anywhere. And you can, look, you can you can make me stand up, and I'm still going to fly my side.